Uh, Audrey, he's back. The man? Uh huh. <laughs> he sure is annoying, isn't he? <laughs> you know that man, that creepy man who tries to kidnap me and and terrorize us. He's annoying. That's the word. That's the word for it. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm talking about the man in the window. How's that? How's that? My how's that Michael Jackson reference right there? I thought that was pretty good. Woohoo! Yeah! Uh, today we are continuing our adventures with the man in the window. So uh, for those of you who don't remember, this is the one with Big Mama Rabbit uh, and her little like rabbit uh, children. Um, and there's a spooky... It's, it's basically the Babadook, right? Have you, have you seen the Babadook, Ash? I have not seen the Babadook, but I have an understanding. Great. General concept of the, that, That's like... I have this one friend who knows a lot of things because he has a general understanding of a lot. Like, he's never seen a lot. Like, he knows a lot of movies. You can ask him trivia about, like, any number of movies. But he's never seen the movies. He just knows them because he studies, like the trivia or like ether around them it's interesting so that's your knowledge of the babadook uh but for those of you who don't know babadook is actually a fantastic it's a very disturbing uh movie um it's it's a scary it's a scary movie but it's one of those where it's not like murder blood gore whatever it's it's that like tension dread just uncomfortable feeling of just existing in the world and, and uncomfortable things happening all about basically this uh storybook that comes to life, you know, this, this dark, scary story of this creature that comes to life, you know, and, and takes kids away or punishes kids or whatever. Um, and so that is the man in the window. Uh, we played this, uh, about a year ago, I would say it's, it's, it feels like it's been a while. Um, it was fun. It was short. It was cute. It's kind of like a search around, read the stories of, uh, read the pages of the book and then figure out the right place to hide by process of elimination. Very simple logic puzzle. Uh, so apparently, uh, part two has come out. The man from the window, Dos. Uh, so I guess we're returning back to the stories of this guy. Will Mama Rabbit return? That's what we're about to find out today. Any any children's stories that freaked you out as a kid, Ash? Uh, children's stories that freaked me out? Yes. Uh, mm, I don't know. That's um, a hard one, I know. That's a tricky one. For, for Ollie, actually, this is an interesting one, because I, I literally told him the story over the weekend. Um... You know, you don't crystallize memories until you are older. Um, and so there are whole chunks of, you know, like the first two to three years of a child's life that they don't remember, even if it was a big part of them growing up, right? Like, um, Ollie won't remember certain books or certain trips that we took, even as recently as a year ago, because, you know, there's just a moment in time where you lose a lot of those kind of childhood, like early, early childhood memories. Um, and so it's interesting to see, like, we'll ask him, like, hey, what do you, re do you remember this? We used to do this all the time. You know, we used to do this all the time. Do you remember? And he's like, no, no, no. And he's, he's fascinated to learn about all these memories that he no longer has, which is really wild to think about, you know, when he's only four. Um, the reason I bring this up, though, is, well, one of the books that we were given when we were, when he was a kid, uh, there's this Dolly Parton, any parents out there, if you ever become a parent or whatever, Dolly Parton. Uh, the country singer actually has this amazing program where she believes that like all kids should have access to like a, a complete library inside their own house kind of. And so if you just like send your, your address in and you know, say that, Hey, I have a kid or whatever for the first like two years, every month they'll send you a, a free book in the mail. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I think we just, and, and, and I, for some reason, we keep getting books. I don't know if they've extended the program or what, but we're still getting Dolly Parton's books, which, thank you, Dolly. Um, but it's one of those things where, so we, we have all these books and all these exposures to books that we wouldn't have seen before, which is cool. Um, and uh, he has this really robust library in addition to the stuff that we've gotten him and what family has gotten him, but from this, this program. One of the books that was sent to us, though, is called Squeak. 
uh, by something something Vestergaard. Vestergaard. Every time I say it, it's it's kind of funny. Um, you have to, I don't know, you've written by, illustrated by, you know, so that way you get the idea of like, you know, who, who writes things, who draws things. Um, but in Squeak, it's all about this little mouse who wakes up and has this little squeak, and then his squeak wakes up the, you know, the squirrels, and the squirrels drop their acorns, which wakes up the fish, and then the fish wake up, the splashing of the fish wakes up the deer, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, the, there's a point to this story, I swear. <laughs> the point of the story is, uh, eventually, uh, they wake up a, a buffalo. Uh, and the buffalo is this big, it's, it's kind of a scary picture of a buffalo where it's this big, everything else is really cute and fun and, and jumping around and whatever. And then you have this like giant brown blob on the page and it's like this grumpy looking buffalo who just woke up and he, and he goes, oomph, oomph, oomph. And, and that was Ollie's first fear was this buffalo actually so like talking about scary books or like books that like end up f freaking out kids and again it's from stuff that you don't even expect you know like oh it's just a buffalo why would he be scared of this like oh i guess this is a scary version of a buffalo uh the the so for a while he was very scared he would ask us to skip that page we wouldn't read that book anymore whatever uh but eventually i figured out so i'm like how do we how do we turn this into a positive right how do you how you know as parents it's like constant problem solving and the the idea I had with this one was at the time we were really into listening to the animal of the day. So if you have a, a Google Home or anything like that, you could be like, "Hey Google, what's the animal of the day?" My phone isn't responding. Good. I, I was like, I, I was waiting for my phone to respond. <laughs> uh, it's listening. Uh, and and each day they teach you a little, a couple fun facts. And you and this and the Australian snake goes, tss, you know, and you hear the thing. Um, and so I'm like, hey. I, I checked it before I did this with Ali. I'm like, hey, what sound does a buffalo make? And it it makes this like funny sound. It it kind of it, it's this kind of wacky sound. So I'm like, hey, Ali, would it be okay if I asked what a, a buffalo what sound a buffalo makes? And he's like, yeah. And so I do, and I'm like, ha, it sounds like a fart. And he thought it was really funny, like the fact that it sounded like because it kind of did, and the fact that it it sounds like a fart made him laugh, and he thought it was hilarious. And so from that point forward. He's, he was okay with the buffalo because the buffalo sounded like a fart. And then every time we would read the book, we would make the sound, we would make the joke. And he and all of a sudden, buffalo went from like his first fear to if you asked him at the time what his favorite animal was, buffalo was his favorite animal. So that's so that is the the scary story that that you know as a parent you, you know you, you just figure this out like you're reading a normal book. And it's like, oh, that's that's now the like thing of his nightmares, and you how you turn it into a positive. That and is like, so cute. And so, and and that's the reason we were talking about like we were talking about his forgotten memories, but we were also talking about, you know, moments where Ollie took something he was afraid of and turned them into strengths or turned them into like something to empower him. Because food, you know, was another thing that he was, certain foods he was scared of, and now are his favorite foods and things like like hey. You don't have to be afraid. Like, look, you, you have overcome all these other fears. You can overcome this one, too, kind of thing. So that's, you know, welcome to the world of parenting, friends. I, I'm i sure you didn't anticipate that or care about that at all um, as we get into The Man from the Window, too. But it was just as we talk about scary books and scary stories, that's the first thing that came to my mind, that and The Babadook. So if you haven't seen Babadook, check it out. If you haven't read Squeak by something Vestergaard... Yeah, you could probably skip it. It's fine. <laughs> I just summarized the whole book for you. Uh, there it is. Um, and then it all goes back around. Spoiler alert. It all goes back around and the, the mouse goes back to sleep wondering why all the animals are, are being loud this morning. And it was all because of him. It was all his fault. So anyway, that's that's that. Uh, Man from the Window 2. We should probably play, right, Ash? Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for uh, being hired to sit here and listen to me talk a lot about my kid. Got you. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Cool. Man from Window Two. Here it is. Um. Uh. I'm just making sure that I'm setting to good. Okay. Ambient volume, sound volume. They still have. They still have deer gun. No. <laughs> what graphical quality do you want? Best. Decent. Dear God, no. <laughs> I would love if there was an achievement for playing at dear god no level of quality <laughs> that would be awesome it's not it's not because the quality is so bad it's just because it's really scary or whatever so we'll, we'll go best i love that no is italicized <laughs> dear god no dear god no i love that it's an option i love that it's a viable option like no dear god no but you, you can i guess 
That's amazing. I love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, control settings. Let's start. Oh, five minutes. We got five minutes. We got five minutes to save the world. Select mode. In normal mode, you are given a notepad to help keep track of things. Okay. I think we should start with normal first, and then maybe, maybe if we're real good, we'll get to tough. I guess. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Dum -bum -bum. Oh, Big Mama Rabbit! It's back! Oh, great. Mama Rabbit, there she is! Yes! Hey, Junior. I forget the voice I gave her. It was Southern, I remember. Hey, Ma! Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a few minutes left to spare before my break's over. So I figured I'd give you two a call just to check in, you know? Oh, thank you, hon. We're both fine over here. I found a few extra dollars in my purse, so we all, so we ordered some takeout. Mm. Those those delivery fees are going to kill you. You're going to take a lot more than a few extra dollars. Shouldn't take too much longer to get here, I reckon. Awesome, awesome. Y'all two enjoy. I'd better get off this phone and get back to work then. We got a bunch of stuff to move out of here tonight, and it's my turn to drive the forklift. Tell little Missy I said hello, would ya? Will do, hon. Thanks, Ma. We'll talk later. All right. Junior's all grown up. I know, right? We we fast forwarded in time. I'm glad to see that Mama Rabbit's staying strong and healthy. <laughs> She's living a vibrant, robust life for a rabbit her age. Yeah, you know, for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm happy for her. But yeah, no, it's, it seems so. Again, for those of you who don't remember. It seems like time has passed, right? So in the first one, uh, everyone was was little kids, and now we're seeing them all grown up. I like I like the continuity of it. Actually, it's kind of cool. Audrey. Oh, hey. Yeah, Grandma. Your papa says hello. He's still at work. Yup, a call during his break. Now, did you finish that homework of yours yet? Yeah, I did, Grandma. Good. That's what I like to hear. Knock, knock. Oh, that's probably the food. Okay, it's not the food! Don't do it! Oh, Big Mama Rabbit, watch out! Dun, dun, dun! Huh. I could have sworn I heard someone out here knock. Didn't you, Audrey? Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, what is not, that not good? Oh, oh, my stars. Here we go. Yeah, is that the reaction? If there's, there's like a weird, creepy horror book monster that's haunting you and that this book keeps appearing at your doorstep, threatening your life, so, just le sigh. Le sigh. She's oh. just like the meme. She, she is. Oh, my stars. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. I, I would love for, at this moment, for to cut to her like cocking a shotgun. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> she's she's trained. This is like the Halloween sequels where she's like trained for it at this point. She's not she ain't playing the man from the windows games. She ain't hiding in the bathtub or in a closet or whatever it is. She is she is locked and loaded and ready to defend her home and her fellow rabbits. Yes. You don't you don't mess with Mama Rabbit. She's gonna tell the story how it ends. <laughs> the man from the window mask started the story. <laughs> But Mama Rabbit gonna tell you how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Audrey, he's back. The man? Uh-huh. <laughs> he sure is annoying, isn't he? <laughs> you know, that man, that creepy man who tries to kidnap me and, and terrorize us. He's annoying. That's the word. That's the word for it. I love how inconvenienced they are. Right? They're like, man, I was waiting for my Grubhub. I was expecting like a couple of quesadillas from the Del Taco down the way. But you know what? Here we go. Oh, here we go again. This means that for the next five minutes, I'm not going to be able to watch my TV show. American Gladiators was on. I can't even watch that. Ugh. Uh, ugh. All right, under the table we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to DVR this for the next... Le I'm going to have to do, like, a, a, a minor logic puzzle for the next three minutes of my life. Lasai. Sure is annoying, isn't he? He is. Isn't he, hon? I don't want you speaking messed up English like... <laughs> isn't he? Is that bad? I don't want you speaking messed up English like Grandma does. 
He sure is annoying, isn't he? Is that wrong? Is that incorrect English? I mean, it's it, there's probably like more proper ways to say it, but huh, weird. I, apparently, I speak in proper English all the time. But yes, yes, he is. All right, cool. Man. Like here's the thing, man from the window should be scared of Mama, right? Like you know, you don't mess with Mama Rabbit. No. I'm just saying. All right, we're gonna go through the book together this time, okay? And I want you to pay close attention, Audrey. Your papa and I ain't always gonna be here, so you need to know how to do this for yourself. He won't leave them alone. Right? I know. Wow. I like just the assumption that he's always gonna be like. Let's not be proactive in any way about this. We're not always gonna. This is also. It seems like it's setting up sequel bait already. <laughs> this idea of we're not always gonna be here. So game three. Uh, this is my prediction. Game three, or maybe even later in this game. I don't know how long it is, but later in this game, we're gonna do Audrey by herself. Which would be sad because Mama Rabbit is clearly the all star of this of this game. Let's be honest. Mm. Maybe in game three, Audrey takes up the mantle, picks up the family shotgun, and then shows the the man from the window the what for. I understand, Grandma. I think. All right, here we go. Time will pass. The seasons may change. We know that nothing can ever stay the same. But still, the man continues to play his twisted game. For the simplest of requests is all he's ever wanted. In his unending search, these dark streets he has haunted. Once night falls, you'll know he's on the prowl. Keep far away, else you'll meet a fate that is assuredly most foul. A faint tapping at one's window has always been his herald. So spend these next five minutes wisely, or you may find yourself suddenly imperiled. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now proceed with caution and proceed with haste. For the man has learned that there's no time to waste. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, the rest of the pages have been torn out. Oh, no! Oh, man from the window! Audrey, I need you to listen up. What's the first thing we're supposed to do when this happens? Uh, this is important, Audrey. I know you know this, hon. The pages? We gotta put the pages in the book. Back in the book before we hide. Because the man got angry and tore them out. That's right. Okay. Find the pages. Is this page? No, that's just. Okay, these are these are the places I can hide, right? Hmm. So is my timer started then? So I gotta find the pages and oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Hold up. He's hi He's hiding them in my house. How how did he do this? I feel. I mean, can I go out? Oh, I can. <laughs> Wait. What? How did he get? I feel like. I feel like I might have spotted something amiss if the pages are hidden in my house. What is going on? Oh, that's so funny. He's like, I'm going to hide the pages in your house, but now I'm going to proceed out and wait for the subsequent five minutes. Oh, that's so funny. How many pages do I need? Wait. So I've gotten three. Also... If he wants to really... Oh, congratulations on my retirement for 38 years. Miss Diane Rabbit. Nice. Uh, I've already wasted a minute. We're totally going to die. Uh, just throwing that out there. I recognize this fact. How many pages do I need? Oh, here's one. Okay. All right, I need to be faster about this. Is that all of them? That was four. I probably need five, right? There's still some pages left to put back in here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. So we really got to look. But let's be honest with ourselves. If this guy... This man from the window really wants to thwart my progress in stopping him on his quest to, like, terrorize me and my family and all that. What's this? Like, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Wouldn't he tear out the pages and then not tape them in my immediate vicinity? I feel like that's a real, a real gap in his plan. Let's be honest. Because it would make sense to rip them out and then put them in places that lure you to him. Ooh. Oh! Hey, is that the last one? Oh, geez, there's one. So there's six pages that we need. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So so you really got to, like, search, search. Right? But, no, I agree 100%. It's one of those things where, like, if I'm... It's Audrey's bed. If I'm the man from from the window, right? I've, I'm ripping out the pages. It's our clothes hamper. I'm ripping out the pages, and then... I am proceeding to, you know, not make those pages readily available to the people that I'm looking to terrorize. That's just me. 
you know, my my desire for a f oh oh hey there we go. My desire for efficiency talking, but who am I to judge? Okay, despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. He will next check under the place where you sleep. Okay, bed. All these years, the man has searched for his quest. He never forsook. <laughs> the empty room is where he'll next look. Okay, empty room. Man is happiest when he when his hunt for a friend is afoot. His next move is to search the place where boxes are put. So like the storage room that we saw. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he'll look in the place where food is stored. For Drayer. <laughs> Uh, which is just a really funny but also disturbing place to hide. Not many times could not many things could stop the man. Neither force nor containment. He will next. He will look under the box for entertainment. That's the TV. The man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where the clothes are washed. The wash tub. Okay, so it seems like a bathroom. Okay, I have like a minute. I guess. Yeah, yeah, Grandma. Follow me. Okay, sure. So the clothes are not washed in the sink. Can you, can you hide in here? In the kitchen, it's the kitchen set. Hide Audrey under the sink. Yes. Okay. And then I need to hide. So I should keep everything shut, yeah? Okay, I guess it's open. I should hide in the bathroom? I'm assuming that's where the, the clothes are washed? It seems like the bathroom is the right place to go for, for Mama Mama Rabbit, right? It's nice having an actual bathtub, it is. I could hide here if I wanted to. I think you should. Hide in the bathtub, go for it. I think we're good, right? Okay, it was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. All right, here he is. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time, the, ma the man was ready. Okay, he's ready. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he, he'd be wasting no time. Oh. And since the blinds had been left open. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, and since the blinds had been left open, he knew exactly where to look. Oh, that little. Tr I guess he is in the window. <laughs> Touche. Like, he's like, I told you where I was the whole time. <laughs> since the blinds had been left open, he knew exactly where to look. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Audrey. You're, you're gone. Yeah! <laughs> Speed run! Yeah, I'm sorry, Audrey, you're gone. The man looked inside the sink cabinet. No. Oh. And then he finally found his new friend. Oh, man. Well, shucks. Uh oh! Oh, no, the ending. The time was exactly midnight when Junior received an unexpected call from home. From the other side of the phone emitted a series of distorted and indiscernible sounds. And after a few moments, the line went dead. Knowing full well that something was amiss, Junior immediately rushed home. What would he find upon his return? Only time would tell. Well, he would find his, his daughter had been gone. That was missing. So, spoil I, think, I think it's more of what he wouldn't find. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, it's less about him finding stuff and more about, like, hey, Audrey's gone. <laughs> it, oh. He's going to find Mama Rabbit being like, hey, I, I didn't think that I needed to shut the blinds. <laughs> Although, in retrospect, it makes a lot of sense. To be honest, that was, that, was a, that was a crucial oversight on my part. I, I gotta admit. Okay, so now we know that there's six pages. Uh, not there. Oh, yeah. It's the fridge. It sure is. It is. You know what? Can I get, again, I'm just still befuddled by the fact. This is a TV stand. I remember when we didn't even have one of these. I'm still befuddled by the fact that he's able to hide pages in my own house without me knowing. He's like, I'm gonna sneak around. Also, I could probably like, I wonder if I would see him if I waited there the whole time. Uh, I'm gonna sneak around in their house and hide my pages. It's very, it's a very impressive scheme he's got going on. He's like, I got bored. I'm just gonna hide two of them right eh. next to each other. He's eh. like, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, here we go. That was six. Smiling ear to ear, the man always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with a cabinet underneath. Okay, sink. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he'll look in the place where the food is stored. Refrigerator. Completely focused, the man's demeanor is scathing. He will now search the place reserved for bathing. Bathroom. Not finding a friend is the, an outcome the man won't accept. He's just lonely. He will next look where the unclean clothes are kept. So that's the uh, laundry hamper. Yeah. The man is happiest when his hunt for a friend is afoot. 
The next move is to search the place where boxes are put. That's storage room. Despite, despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. He will next check the place under where you sleep. Okay. Bathing. So the clothes. Where the clothes are kept is safe. And under the TV stand are the two that we don't have, right? He didn't say anything about TV stand. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so TV stand. All right, Audrey. Uh, close the blinds first. Oh, you're, yep, good one. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> I made the same mistake again. Okay, wait, bop, bop, bop. Okay, shut this. Uh, here, shut the door. Okay, there. Are there other blinds that I need to watch out for? Yeah, I thought I saw some other, but there you go. Close that. Come up here, yep. Get out of here, you creeper. And then this was bathroom and other stuff, so we should be good there. Okay, so. TV stand. Yeah, Grandma? Follow me. Okay, here we go. The TV stand. Hide Audrey in the TV stand. And then for me, I need to hide in this thing, right? This very obvious place right here. Okay, lock the door. Because I remember last time you have to like shut the doors because it stalls him slightly. It's our old wash tub! Now it's only used to wash the clothes. I can definitely hide here. Can you? Can you really, Mama? <laughs> like, can and should are two very different questions, <laughs> I feel like. I can hide here, but, you know, hide in the old wash tub. Sure. You go for it. Who am I to question Mama Rabbit? All right, it was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. This is, this is a fun game. I like these. That's really, it's simple, but it's fun. And although he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time. Oh no, he was ready again. Shoot. Okay, he, he, be, he be running. Oh, just bangs the door open. Okay. So he didn't see anything. Nice. Man looked inside the sink cabinet. And there was nothing. But he found nothing. To the refrigerator, the man looked inside the fridge. Ta -da. But he found nothing. Do I have to... If I left them open, would anything happen? I'm wondering. The man looked into the bathtub. Nope. <laughs> but he found nothing. Ooh, ooh, can you catch a glimpse of him in the, in the mirror? I think, I think I just, like, saw a glimpse of him for a second there. The man looked inside the clothes hamper. But he found, you know what, bud, maybe if you didn't, maybe if you didn't telegraph where you were going to look in your little, like, couplet rhyming book, you would have better luck at finding friends. I, I gotta be honest with you, like, you look at your, look at your goals in life, and look at the strategy that you're, you're trying to accomplish your goals with. Well, it's, here's, it's a mismatch. Here's a theory for you. Okay, here's a theory. The okay. man is, okay. yeah. the theory. Um, <laughs> it's not the man giving the book. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it, right? There's someone who's trying to warn. Right. But who is it? Who is it? We don't know. We, right? That is a good question. But he found nothing, so where does he go to after this? Oh, the storage room. The man looked inside the kitchen closet. I wonder if I had left the doors open, if that would change anything. But he found nothing. Or if, like, he would look in a bonus spot. Oh, I like that you can kind of see Mama. Like, Mama Rabbit is just there. Right there. The man looked under the bed. Just a little peripheral vision, man. That's all you need. She's literally right there in the tub, but he found nothing. The time was now 8.02. And though he still had plenty of time left... The... <laughs> I was gonna be like, yeah, in the last game you had to stall him for like five minutes and it was all like 15 to 30 second increments. This one, he's like, oh, well, the man had run out of places to say, had you? I think, I think you could maybe, maybe muster up just a few more places to, I don't know, I don't know. Just, just give it a thought for a second. He had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. You had three old minutes left, bud. He came in guns blazing and he's like, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm out of here. I've had enough of this. <laughs> oh man. Is he coming back? Like, I feel like. 
I feel like this is like a, a, a fake out, right? This has got to be a fake out. Yeah, and stay gone this time! Don't leave your hiding spots until it's 8.05, man. Don't think you can just run in here and mess with Grandma and me, because I'll... See? I told you. Don't do it. Yes, go back to the hiding spots. Is that a body? Oh, it's the food. Audrey, hon, you don't need to be scared. It's just the takeout we ordered. It's the Grubhub man. The man in the, I would love it if the man in the window was the guy from the, the memes, the Grubhub memes. You know, the like dancing guy, the dancing father that we assumed was uh, from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Audrey, what am I going to do with that? I don't know. Reward her for being smart and hiding when there's a mysterious knock on the door mere minutes after an intruder broke into your home. That's, <laughs> that's, I'd be like, good for you, child. Way to read the situation. <laughs> no. Come and eat. Come and eat your Del Taco. Oh, is that it? All right. One star. Which means there's other stuff. Oh, you could also get another ending too, right? Remember, so there was the... He finds Audrey. He finds Mama. He finds Mama. That was, a, that was an ending. Right. And then... Then we could try tough mode, I guess. In normal mode, you're given a notepad. <laughs> we didn't use it. <laughs> was that the was that the thing with the lines? I guess it was. Oh. Uh, on, on the countertop, that was the thing with the lines. Perchance. Per all chance. those all those all those kids from the TikTok generation whose short term memory can't hold more than five pieces of information. I guess because it what this is there's like what seven things you have to just keep in your mind, like. I mean, you could also make the argument that we're the ones with the bad short-term memory because we completely forgot about the notebook. That is true. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. You're, no, you're totally right. It was, it was me. It was, it was all me. You're totally right. But right, like, there's not a whole lot that you have to keep track of, I don't think. Here, let's do tough mode first. I want to see if there's a different ending. All right, tough mode. Let's see if we can manage to do this without the help of the notepad. The rest of the pages ain't there. I better get moving and find them. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe they hid the pages in different spots too. That'd be exciting. Oh, we gotta check the fridge. There's like five in the fridge. What? Ooh, hello. Oh, there's the note. <laughs> I like that it's still there. You just can't use it. Oh yes, it is the TV stand. I remember when the net one of it. So true, bestie. Yeah, I remember those days. Okay, there's gonna be one down here. I'm assuming. Okay. Is there another? Oh, two down here. Oh. <laughs> Just like leaving a paper trail. It's like the flower girl at a wedding. Oh, hey. Is that all of them? I lost count. Yeah, it's not. Okay, one more. Uh, there we go. Again. Concer oh, hey. While well, I'm in here. Shut these guys. Yeah, you're not allowed to see me. I know. I know you. Do not perceive us. Yeah, do man. not. Oh, there's still some pages. Shoot. Are there more? Is there extra pages in this time? In this time, I lost. Oh. I lost count. There's one. Maybe in tough mode. Yeah, maybe in tough mode. There's. Yeah, it seems like there's actually a couple more. So okay, here we go. Tough mode. Okay, the man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where clothes are. So wash tub. Not finding a friend, he won't accept. He'll look where the unclean clothes are kept. That is the hamper. Uh, he will search the place reserved for bathing, bathroom. Empty room is where he'll look. Empty room. Uh, under the box for entertainment, the TV stand. He will check under the place where you sleep, under the bed. Place under the mirror is the bathroom mirror. Soon he'll look in the place where food is stored, refrigerator. Okay, so that means under the sink. Uh, follow me. So under the sink is fine. And then grandma has to stay in the... She has to stay in the storage closet, right? That seems... Yeah, there is no mention of the room with boxes. Right, there's no boxes room, so let's shut up everything. Is there a way to stall him in this game? Right, because in the original game, there was... You could push the... You could push the couch in front of the... Right? You, you would push the couch in front of the door. You would lock the door. Right? Y yeah, yeah. Well, and also in that original game, too, you got penalized for not 
shutting the doors. Like every small action required of him was something that you needed in order to stall him a little bit longer, right? I can hide in here too. Here, hold up. Can I? Can you like turn off the lights or something? Right. Like. It feels like right. It feels like there's more I could be doing. Apparently, apparently not. Oh, we're, dirt. we're gonna leave it super well lit for him. Oh, dirt. Right. It was a good. I mean, it was a good thought. So the door's like I can't shut with you in there. Uh, all right. I guess can I flip on this light? I cannot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hide. All right. Kitchen closet. Hide in the kitchen closet. Tough mode. So there was. It was a little bit trickier that time. There was a couple more. It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. And he knew exactly what he wanted, okay? And he, and though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. Here he goes. Yo! Oh, wow. So locking the door did nothing, which is interesting. Because, yeah, in the first game, locking the door was like a 15 to 30 second stall, and pushing the couch in front of the door was like a minute stall. So this one is uh, is actually been simplified in a lot of ways. The man looked inside the old wash tub, <laughs> and he found nothing. Part of me really wants, like if he's checking the old wash tub, I want mama to hide in there just so we, <laughs> man looked inside the clothes hamper, and he found nothing. Next up. Okay. The man looked into the bathtub, and he found nothing. Now he's gonna check the mirror though. Can we see him? Oh, the man looked inside the whole closet. Uh. And he found nothing. Again, whoever wrote your children's book did a great job telegraphing your plan. Gotta admit, inside the TV stand. And he found nothing. One time I'd love for him to just go rogue and do something like that wasn't in the book. And you're like, wait, what? My mind is blown. The man looked under the bed. And he found nothing. Now he's in the mirror. Oh! Oh, you can see him! You can see him in the mirror! He, he, he long man. He's a he's long man in the mirror. He tall boy. He's a tall boy. He's long. Lanky. <laughs> <laughs> lanky Kong. Lanky. <laughs> but he found nothing, Lanky Kong. All right. Okay. He looked inside the fridge, which is, again, a terrible decision. Uh, he and he not... found books. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say, and he found last night's leftovers and Tupperware. He did not find nothing. He found a delicious lasagna. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, the time is now 8.03. Why, why are we ending it early? And though he had plenty of time left, the man had run out of places to search. Can you extend it to 8.05? So he, as quickly as he returned, he, it's just weird that they're like, he's got all this time left. Right? It's weird. It feels like there's something missing. I wonder if we look at controls, if we can get any little hints. Like, maybe there is a way to, like, lock individual doors or something. Right? But it didn't stall him at all. He just, like... He just went through the front door like it was nothing. Yeah, and stay gone this time. Don't think you can run out here and mess with grabbing me because I'll... Okay, knock, knock, knock. So this... See, I mean, even the... Oh! <laughs> what? J.P. Vermander. Excuse me? Hello? <laughs> Someone here does not fit in this world, I don't think. You got a world of bunny rabbits and you got this. How did it, man? Oh, thank you, J.P. Vermander. <laughs> I got an order here for a Miss Diane. What? That's me. Finally, I'm starving after all that hiding and logic puzzling. Let's eat. <laughs> what? What happened? Oh, there's it's still going too. Junior. That was a lingering shot on the door. Junior's like, I missed all the food. Darn. Well, well, d what was it? Darn. Shoot, shoot, shoot dang. Shoot dang. That's it. Well, shoot dang. I lost it all. Oh, hey, Ma. You sure are up late tonight, aren't you? Uh huh. I was waiting to tell you about something. Yeah, what's up? The man showed up again. Oh no, is Audrey okay? But don't worry, hon. She's fine. But I wanted to tell you that she handled herself really well tonight, all considering. It won't be too long before she's ready to deal with the man all by... Deal with the man all by herself, I reckon. <laughs> That's my girl. 
<laughs> Shoot dance, my girl. That is one tough cookie, all right. Yeah, they're really setting up the fact that the, the next game is going to be just Audrey. She takes after her grandma, you know. Well, ain't that the truth? Thanks, hon. Now that I've told you that, I better go to bed. <laughs> okay. Good night, Junior. Good night, Ma. See you in the morning. Hold up. A thought. A thought has occurred to me. Okay. Okay, that's it. Did we get another star? I would assume. Yeah! yeah! Awesome. Uh, real quick. So the man is peeking at us through the window, right? He saw us through the window and we had to shut the shutters or shut the blinds. We're on the second floor of this apartment complex. Yes. I'm just saying, like, I don't know how he's getting up there, but we are going <laughs> down a set of stairs in order to find the pages on the bottom. He, and, and we saw that he's tall in the bathroom mirror, but he ain't that tall. Well, here's, here's my thought, right? Is he like a Stretch Armstrong? Can he like grow and shrink? Like, I think maybe he could be stretchy like Mrs. Incredible, but I also Elastigirl, think- girl, yeah. yeah. I also think it's fun to just imagine him like hanging on to the outside of the window, <laughs> like peeking up and his like tiny little legs are like, oh like, He's like, what's going on up there? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> like peeking out over. Oh, <laughs> They're going under the sink. Oh, yeah, I see him. Also, what if we hide in a room, like what if we're hiding in the wash tub and he doesn't see me, like if we shut, you know, like if I keep the windows open, but I hide in the wash, there's no window near the wash tub. He doesn't know I'm hiding in the wash tub. That's true. I'm just saying. He's, he's, he's doing some deductive reasoning in that case. I like, because you know how all the windows are on the same wall? Yes. I like the idea of him, like, going on to that big window yeah. near the sink and then just, like, <laughs> going manning it over. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Swinging and jumping. So, ambient noise sound, mouse sensitivity, quality. Okay, there's quality, settings, controls. I mean, right? It feels like there's... The fact that they're ending the night prematurely seems strange to me. Mm. It makes it think, that, like you said, like, it feels like we should be able to extend it or, like, there's an even tougher, like... Impossible mode or something like that. Huh. All right. So we've seen, we've seen the both endings, I guess. I don't know how many there are, but uh, what I haven't seen yet is when Mama gets caught. Because in the first game, there was a different ending if Audrey got caught, if Mama got caught, or if the, the kid, because it was Junior in the first it one. Was junior, it was Junior, yeah. It was Junior in the first one. If Junior got caught, if Grandma got caught, and then if you just won, right? So this one, we haven't done that. So I would love to do that. So I'm going to do tough mode again. Uh, but this time, JP perfect? This time we're just gonna sacrifice. We're just gonna sacrifice uh, Grandma. What? What? Who is what? Who is JP Vermander? Right. What was that? Like that, <laughs> that is a, that is a great question about the lore. I do not know. <laughs> it's like, just the fact we got like a first and last like. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, he is. That he, was bonkers. He, he had a full on formal introduction. <laughs> Oh yeah, obviously it's J.P. Vermander. It's J.P. Vermander, who's also the the like Grubhub guy, right? Like, yeah, it's not just oh J.P. Vermander, that guy that we all know and are familiar <laughs> with, and we're expecting to show up at the door. It's J.P. Vermander, the guy who's delivering our takeout. Oh, ooh, hey, a, that was a fun, that was a spicy place to hide a page. The guy we all know and love. Classic J.P. Vermander. J.P. Vermander moment. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> Iconic Vermander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Lock. I'm gonna lock it just for posterity's sake. Because you're totally right. Like, why? Why not? Okay, so let's put in our pages. And we, we want to sacrifice Mama. Okay. Uh, food is stored. That's the refrigerator. Uh, under the sink. Okay. Sink under the cabinet. Uh, boxes is the storage room. So he knocks out all of the kitchen first. Then he'll look where unclean clothes. Clothes hamper. Then he'll check under the bed, under the mirror, where the clothes are washed is the uh, tub, the place reserved for bathing, bathroom. Okay, so Audrey can hide. Where can Audrey hide? Where can Audrey hide? Uh, Audrey hides in the... Can she hide in, where, here? Th this room, in the closet? Well, I mean, like, the first place where Mama can hide, as long as, like, it's not listed before that. 
Yeah. Right? Audrey's safe in there. Because, again, we want Mama to get caught. Yeah. So I'm going to hide Mama in the wash tub. Because I want to see her get caught in the wash tub. Because I think that will be funny for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, that will be amusing. Okay, food is stored. That's the refrigerator. Cabinet under the, underneath is the sink. That's fine. Uh, the storage room. The hamper. The place where you sleep is the bed. The mirror. Uh, clothes are washed is the b bathtub, and then uh, police reserve for bathing is bathroom. So, so in this case, Mama would be hiding, oh, in the closet, and then Audrey would be under the TV. Is that what it is? Is, is the correct answer in this case? All right. It's our old wash tub. Now it's only used to wash clothes. I can definitely hide in here. Sure you can. We'll see. We'll see how good you can hide in here when the man finds you. So here we go. We know that we're going to get caught, but that's the goal. <laughs> it was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. This is this is fun. This is a fun game. Go get him, Mama. And, and though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals tonight, I, this the time that he was ready. Okay. Here we go! Speed run! Oh! Again, lock the door didn't matter at all. He checks the fridge. It was delicious. <laughs> he didn't check the freezer, though, the fool. He, he missed all of my Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Man. That, that was a loss. Major L. You know what? Sometimes you don't have friends, but at least you have ice cream. Exactly. Like, honestly. Maybe he would have more friends if he had the ice cream. Like, the ice cream might not be your end goal, but it might be a step towards your end goal. Man in the oh, window. Oh, yeah. Have you thought about that one? You can invite people over for ice cream. Exactly, right? Ice cream, little ice cream party. Delightful for everyone. Okay. Looked under the bed. Found nothing. Here. He's getting he's getting close to me now. I'm excited. I'm getting hype. Oh, it, it is disturbing to see him there. It's, it's pretty scary. See him in the window or in the mirror. It's it's frightening. Little limbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> the man looked inside the old wash tub. Hmm. <laughs> she's not even, she's not, like, go this way, <laughs> you're trying to hide in the tub. <laughs> you're just sitting like, <laughs> well, I guess I'm hidden right now. Here I am. You can't find me. Go, at least go try to be below the level of the lip of the tub. Or prop the tub back, man. Just hanging out. Finally found his new friend. Hey, mama. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, new ending. Here we go. Hey, Ma, why is the front door wide open? Hello? Audrey? So Audrey should still be here. Yeah, okay. Audrey, what happened? And where's your grandma at? Audrey, come on. I need you to talk to me. Who was it? The man from the window. Two. Does that mean anything? No, fail conditions don't get you endings. Or stars. No, only childhood trauma. Right? Huh. Two stars. It it feels like I should have, like... It's, it's, it's unusual to have just, like, two stars in a game, but I can't think of what else we could do in it. You well, know? wasn't the first one we just had that one star? I guess, yeah. And because it's Man from the Window 2... Two stars. You get two stars. Oh, man, maybe in Man from the Window 3, there's three stars. <gasps> and you're Audrey, what? and you're having to hide Grandma this time. Time. You know what? You may be able to hide from the man in the window, but you can't hide from time. It's dark. <laughs> it makes you think. But it also really, makes really, you really makes you think. Huh? <laughs> that one hits hard. <laughs> it makes you appreciate the, the moment yeah. that you are in. Yeah. You know, it really makes you appreciate, like, the circle of life and that... You know, all things must come to an end. Just like this episode has come to an end. But you know what? Just like the man from the window, we too will be back for another episode. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I don't know what's coming down the pipeline, but I bet it'll be equally fun, but with slightly fewer large uh, rabbit women. Just saying. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember... It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. See ya!